Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about entering safe mode inside a Windows 10 operating system. Now, there's three ways that you could do this. Uh, two ways is kind of silly, uh, and the only reason that it's kind of silly because safe mode is the only the only time you can actually use safe mode is when you cannot get into your desktop. I don't know why Microsoft provided these two options, uh, but the first option is you need to get into your uh, settings. So you can either go into the notification area and go to settings, all settings, or you go to start and you go to settings. So let me go to start settings. Once the settings dialog box is up and running, you want to go to update and security and you want to go to recovery and you're going to click restart now under the advanced startup. So what's going to happen is it's going to restart the machine. It's going to give you a nice little menu and you need to go to troubleshoot, uh, advanced options. You then want to click on startup settings. And from there, restart to change Windows options such as enable low resolution video mode, uh, enable debugging mode, enable boot logging, enable safe mode. That's the option you want. You restart, you're good to go. Okay, guys, and the second option is another silly option. I don't know why Microsoft did this. And the only reason that they gave us these two options is because they removed the whole F8. Remember, you used to press F8 and they gave you a nice little black and white menu to get into safe mode or boot into uh, safe mode with networking or without networking. They removed that within Windows 10. They, they actually removed it with Windows 8. And the second option to get into safe mode is you have to restart your machine. And the way that you restart your machine so you can directly go to safe mode is I'm going to send a control or delete. You want to hold down the shift key. When you hold down the shift key, you're going to click on the power button and just click on restart, which is silly, right? And what's going to happen is you can let go of the shift key and it's going to restart into the advanced option menu where you can actually pick the option to start up into safe mode. So again, the same thing as the first one, you go to troubleshoot, uh, advanced options, startup settings, and restart your machine and we'll go directly into safe mode. Now the third option is an awesome one because I'm going to show you guys how to enable the F8 key. So I'm going to go back and go back and I'm going to go back again and I'm going to continue. So I'm going to be pressing the F8 key like a madman inside my virtual machine. I'm pressing it like a madman. Uh, like I'm literally pressing F8 and nothing's going to happen because again, Windows 10 doesn't have that option. Even Windows 8, they removed that option, that F8 option. Like again, I'm pressing F8 and nothing pops up. All right, guys, and the third option, which is the, the F8, enabling F8. So what you want to do is you're going to right click on the start menu and you want to run a command prompt as an admin. So let's go to command prompt admin. We're going to hit yes for the user account control. And this is what you guys want to type in. It's going to be bcd edit space four slash set uh, wiggly bracket. Open it. And it's going to be default. Make sure you spell it right. There you go. Close the wiggly bracket. And then it's going to be space boot boot menu policy. And it's going to be legacy. All right, so say it again. I'm gonna say it one more time before I hit enter. So it's gonna be BCD edit space four slash set space open the wiggly bracket default close the wiggly bracket space boot menu policy space legacy hit enter. The operation completed successfully. Awesome. We're gonna exit out of here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to send a control alt delete to my machine and I'm going to restart it and I am going to click inside my virtual machine as well as press F8 like a madman because if everything works out we should have the original uh, boot menu our the one that we're so comfortable uh, within Windows 7 so there it goes there it goes guys awesome so this is the one that we're so we're we're so used to seeing within our Windows 7. Again, Microsoft removed it when they uh, created Windows 8. Uh, I actually did a video for you guys showing you how to do it on Windows 8. It's the same concept. They never changed it on Windows 10. Other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on how to get into safe mode within Windows 10. Leave comments right below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.